Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick little video on how I do my samples. I know I've got one heck of a mess here. Um, I've got two more bags to um, kind of put up and then I'm done for the night. Um, basically how I do my samples is, for instance, uh, shadow samples. Oh, that fell off. Some of them's falling off. The scotch tape glitter tape isn't the best stuff in the world. But I package um, with an applicator on both sides, whatever color it is. Put the label on for them. Um, as far as lip products, if they ask for a certain color, I um, package them uh, the color they ask for. If not, I will just ask them... Um, if they wear lip gloss, lipstick, etc., and I would just go by their skin tone or whatever else and just package them one so they can at least try it. Um, and then what I did do is I got these little organza bags and I put their shadow and their lip products in the organza bag so it doesn't get lost at the bottom of the box because they are such small. Um, little thingies, <laughs> uh, containers. As far as the skincare goes, um, I make up, their, all their skincare will be in one of these little bags. They're just little treat bags uh, that I just bought cheap at the Dollar General and just decorated them with some stickers and some little gems. Um, what I did do was I, um, included a little spatula with each one and they are in their uh, skincare bag and after I have all their skincare in there I put the uh, little trifold that we have for our skincare with their name on it in their bag and I tagged these little spatulas um, so they kind of didn't get lost and thrown away um, and just kind of decorated them. I kind of got bored <laughs> with their name and little helper on the back. It just basically says, I'm here to help you get your foundation and skincare out. Um, because I have found that when I was using the Bamboo Renew, I was fighting it to get it out of the pack. I had to actually use my spatula to get it out. So I was trying to make it a little bit easier for my customers. Um, then... Um, my foundation and concealer goes in these little containers like this and I heat sealed the little uh, bags around them just in case they leak which I'm hoping that they don't because I mean they are plastic and I know sometimes the mailman don't know how to act right because I had actually hold on I'm going to show y'all how I do this I actually had to um, contact Limelight because it wasn't Limelight's fault it was the mailman um he shattered all of, well, half of my shadows, and my blush was completely shattered, which we have awesome customer service, so they sent me a new one. But after I do their skincare bag, I simply just, see if we can do this one-handed, um, just take it over to the heat sealer. Um, I take it pretty much, hold on just a second. I just heat seal it to about where to take up as less space and then I trim that excess off with my scissors. Um, I have been saving the excess because these can be used again. Um, trying to save some money there. <laughs> um, and what I do is I've got a primer and finishing spray in um, these little heat seal bags in case they leak. They're in their little, uh, let me see if I can find one, um, little spray bottles like this and they're labeled like the lip gloss and everything is. And then I just put them in um, little heat seal bags just in case because you never know. And then I have my bath salts in the heat seal bags also. Um, I have all kind of little stuff over here. I've got like little labels because thank God I had these because my label maker wanted to just stop working for no reason on my last three concealers, I think. <laughs> um, I've got little stickers to seal my envelopes for my cards, um, little jewels, just little bitty stuff. Um, this is actually a bag for a lady across the street. Um, I saved 
all of my little routine cards and stuff. So they'll get one of these enclosed. Um, and then the little card about our skincare and makeup. The people who get a catalog, these will get mailed out to them also. Um, if I didn't get you a catalog with your sample, um, I've got some more coming and they will get mailed separately. But uh, you are getting your samples for sure. Um, and all I do is I use one of these little boxes, put a little bit of tissue paper in the bottom of it. This one, thank goodness, does not have anything in it yet. Um, and you can fit some, you can fit a lot of stuff in these. I was actually very surprised. I put a little thin piece of tissue paper at the bottom, um, put their samples in there, uh, tie the box up, and write them a little thank you card with a personalized note from me. And I'm just sticking that behind the ribbon of uh, their boxes. And I also put a business card in the thank you cards. So, and then, yeah, the, here's some more stickers. Um, I sealed some of the envelopes with those stickers, and I found the L stickers tonight. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. And anyone who is getting any samples from me, they are going in the mail on Wednesday. So, you will be getting those soon. Thank you.